How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Mike from Poketips, and today, yes, yes, I know, I finally got the haircut, and I'm not hat tips anymore, but today, we're going back on our adventure in the Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee Extreme Randomizer Nuzlocke. We're gonna be taking on the Pokemon Tower. Last time, we saw our rival YouTube walk in there, and I can't let YouTube walk in there and do whatever he's up to, you know, because YouTube is a killer. So we have to stop YouTube at all costs. Anyway, I swapped up the team. Everybody loves it when I use Dooku, so we're gonna be starting off this episode with Dooku. But I brought back, you know, some old favorites like Qui-Gon and Maul. Especially because I know we're gonna have a rival battle coming up soon. So we need the best and the strongest Pokemon for our team. And let us just take a moment and enjoy this lovely Pokemon Tower music. I love it. This is probably one of my favorite tracks in the whole entire game. <gasps> there he is. YouTube, what are you doing here in the Pokemon Tower where trainers go to bury their dead Pokemon? Hey, if it isn't Poketips, but what are you doing here? Well, shouldn't you know, YouTube? Shouldn't you know you killed a lot of my Pokemon? Oh boy, I'm glad I was wrong this time. No, you weren't. You, my Pokemon are dead because of you. And you know what? I'm gonna take out all of that rage on you right now. And you, of course, have to lead with the water type, Horsey, against my fire type. Of course you do. Of course you do. Anyway, you know what, Dooku? Dooku could take out a water type. Avenge your fallen brethren, Dooku. Hit him with the headbutt. Ooh. 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 Okay. All right, that didn't do too much, but I think Crab Hammer is like one of those moves that has like the higher critical hit chance, so <laughs> I'm not gonna play around with that. Instead, I'm gonna swatch out, swap out into Maz, because you know if we get critted by Crab Hammer or you know if it just does more damage than it did last time, Dooku is gonna join that uh, team of dead. So, oh, but look at Maz dodging the attack right as we start the episode. That's a great way to start things off, Maz. Maz, you are one of my favorites. Ooh, and you're almost taking out this horsey, too. Ember! Why does this thing have Ember? Uh, it could be worse. Could be Flamethrower. Could be Fire Blast. Could be any of those good stuffs. And it looks like he's gonna use a potion. Gonna use a potion, bring back that horsey's health. But that's okay. We have x scissor. We're gonna chop it right away. <laughs> Ugh. Come on, YouTube. Make this battle go easily for us. I don't want to lose any more Pokemon to you. Get out of here, Horsey. All right, that's one Pokemon down. Five more to go. What does YouTube have in store for us this time? A Weedle! A Weedle! Really? That's what you're sending out? A Weedle? Well, I'm gonna headbutt that Weedle. Hopefully get the flinch. Get the flinch. Get the flinch. Get the... Yes! Is that what I have to do to get flinches in this game? Just keep chanting, get the flinch? We'll try that. We'll try that. Depending on what he sends out next, we'll try that again. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually really funny that worked. Get the flinch. And then we make it happen. Poliwhirl. Pokemon number three is Poliwhirl. Alright. You know what? X Scissors is the better move here, but I believe in the power of the flinch. Get the flinch. Get the flinch. Get the flinch. Get the flinch. A critical hit. Oh. Oh. I mean, that was something. But Shell Smash. I remember the last time we faced against something with Shell Smash or Quiver Dance. Those things, those moves are always scary. Let's hope it doesn't do too much to us. Let's go for headbutt. Ooh, hydro pump. Come on, Maz. Come on, Maz. You could take it. You could take it, Maz. Don't let him wash you away. Maz. Maz. Critical hit, too. I feel like we could have lived it if it wasn't a critical hit. Ugh. Maul, avenge Maz. No! It's faster than me, too! No, 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 I- No, 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 oh god, oh god, no. Oh my god, no. Whoa. Whoa, this Poliwhirl is a killer. All right, we are swapping out now. Oh my gosh, that thing almost took out two of my Pokemon. No way. Maz. We lost Maz. That 
that's the worst moon blast. I'm glad we got out of there. Oh my gosh, that's terrible. That's really terrible. Maz is not a Pokemon I want to lose. Maz was so strong, put in so much work into all of its battles. Maz. Looks like we are leaving somebody behind in the Pokemon Tower, unfortunately. YouTube. Why would you do this to me again, YouTube? Play rough. Play rough. No, we're not playing rough. Ooh. That's sharp and play rough. That's some scary stuff. And Anakin's not looking too hot right now either. Let's hope those were the worst of his Pokemon. This isn't looking too great now. Dodrio. Okay, Dodrio is something we can take out, but Dodrio is fast, so I'm gonna heal here. Because again, we could just go for Thunderbolts and take it out. Anakin's really good. But, oh my gosh. Whenever I lose a Pokemon, it does a lot to me. I know they're just, you know, Pokemon, but they're my partners too for this run. And when I've had something as long as I've had Maz, it really impacts me. Maz was something that I wanted to just carry on forever and ever and ever. I've never used a pincer before this, and Maz was showing me exactly how good a pincer could be. Well, Dooku is getting a new move, Fire Spin. Fire Spin has always been a terrible move, but oh wow, it's actually a little stronger now. I don't know when they increased that. I thought it was like base 15 PP, but 35, so what I'm thinking is that might actually be better than Ember. You know what? We're gonna forget Ember. We've been using Ember all this time. I think Fire Spin with their, you know, residual damage might actually be a little bit better than Ember. Uh, that's funny. We're talking about fire moves. Squirtle. And with the amount of water types this guy has had this run, it's kind of funny to see him have Squirtle, too. But... Hmm. Mm. Alright. We defeated YouTube. But we didn't do it without a casualty. Maybe your Pokemon are doing a little too well. No, they're not! No, they're not! Aw, shoot. When we battled, we scared off that Cubone. You know Cubone, right, Poketips? It's a Pokemon always wearing a skull. It looked like it was searching for something. Maybe it's up on the higher floor. I guess we gotta go look for it. But before we can do that, I have to put away... Maz. I'm sorry, Maz. Again, only crits. Only crits are gonna take you out. You fought so hard. You fought really hard, Maz. Now, let's see. Who should I put on the team now instead of Maz? I want to give Shock T a break. I was looking at its defenses before, and it really scares me that it only has 23 defense. I feel like that's a death waiting to happen, so I want to put him away for now. I feel like Phasma has a lot of potential, so I'll add Phasma to the team. I know Yoda and Phasma are kind of redundant, but... It's a Gyarados. Come on, Gyarados is really good. But let's go up on that second floor. Ooh, an item. X-Attack. Uh, Maz would have loved using that. Ooh, and a coach trainer down there. Should I be? Nah, nah. We've got a long episode coming up ahead of us. I'm sure we've got plenty of other trainers to fight. Cubone, Cubone, come out, come out wherever you are. I don't think Cubone would want to come to you, you monster. You Sith Lord. I don't see any sign of it. Ooh, what's that up there? Is that... Ooh, spooky. It's a, it's a, g g g go, 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 ah! go, <laughs> Get out. Be gone. Be gone. <laughs> oh, this is sad. This is really sad. I'm laughing because this is just really funny, but this is sad. This Pokemon Tower is a terrifying place. Now, I don't think we can get any encounters yet. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, those things look kind of spooky. Oh no, they're chasing me. Get away, I'm trying to leave. Let me go, let me go. I don't want to run, ah! Okay, good, they're, wow, they both disappeared. What does it look like if we get into a battle with one of them right now? Oh, wait, no, they just say get, be gone. Wait, what's going on? Oh, okay, I guess that's nice. We don't have to walk all the way back. Thanks for the trip, I guess. Thanks for the trip. Okay. Well, that's the Pokemon Tower from now, for now. We'll be back there later on. Wait, what's going on over there? <gasps> Jesse and James, Team Rocket. We came all the way to Lavender Town on the boss's orders, but where in the world is this old man Fuji supposed to be? The only place left is that spooky old Pokemon Tower, right? That's right, we couldn't get to the top because of that strange ghost getting in the way. 
Ooh. No, Cubone, don't go over there and talk to Meowth. Meowth's a bad guy. Don't talk to him. Well, we couldn't find that old man, but at least we found this Cubone. Let's get it back to our hideout. At least we'll have something to show for our trouble. No, no. Right, let's head back to the Rocket Game Corner in Celadon City. Ma? No, she's not your ma. Don't go with them. No. No, Cubone, no. No. This is terrible. We just lost Maz, and now Team Rocket is stealing Cubone. This is a problem. We need to go stop them. We're heading on over to Celadon City, and we're taking on that game corner, but I guess we gotta battle you first. What's a cute, round, and fluffy Pokemon? Hmm. I would say Jigglypuff. You know, it's pretty round. Except if you're looking at the top, then it might be a Voltorb. Ooh, a Fisherman. Back with the Bamboozles and the Tentacool. I can't lead with Dooku. Because everybody else is going to send out Water-type Pokemon. How annoying. You know what? You know what? We're not switching. We're going for Dragon Rage. I think Dragon Rage would be a nice uh, two-shot on this Tentacool. It's going for Swords Dance. All right. All right. So this looks like it's free. This looks like it's free. I'm glad I didn't switch. Now, a lot of you guys ask me, why don't you battle every single trainer? And the reason I don't battle every single trainer is because there are so many trainers in the game, and I don't want every episode to be like an hour long because I'm battling trainers. I like progressing at like a steady pace, and then look, a Charmander. I like progressing at a steady pace, so I'll, like, I'll battle a few trainers, but I don't want to like battle every single trainer, you know? Because then that just makes the episodes take a long time. And once again, once again, a fire Pokemon crits all the crits today, but a fire Pokemon that has a better fire move than my Charmeleon. Dooku, I love you, but I hope you get a good fire move soon. I hope we don't all have to go all the way out to Blaine to get, like, a good fire move. Or maybe in the Celadon City department store, I'm not sure. Maybe they sell, like, flamethrower or fire-type TM. We'll definitely have to check when we get out there. But first, oh wait, 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 wait. Before we go over there, I want to test something out. We have a new encounter over in the grass. Now, I want to use a lure to see if that can help, like, bring out more Pokemon so we get a, a more of a variety. Because, again, if two Pokemon spawn at the same time, I get to choose. So let's see. Let's go in the grass and see what our encounter. And it looks like it's going to be a Poliwhirl. Or is that Poliwrath? I can't tell from the back. That's Poliwhirl. Ooh, Ghastly, too. A lot of cool Pokemon over here. And another Dooku running around. But Poliwhirl is our boy. Poliwhirl's our boy. And let me switch to Ultra Balls. While this guy wants to be a hopper. And unfortunately, looks like we don't have any raspberries. Okay, go for your attack. And we're going to try timing that. Get a excellent. Excellent. Because I'm an excellent Pokemon trainer. <laughs> Come on. Nice. First throw, first fall. That's what I like to see. All right, so I'm going to name Poliwhirl Owen after Luke's uncle Owen. I can't really think of any great names for a Poliwhirl. But I'm thinking, you know... Owen's wife, Baru, gave Owen blue milk, and Poliwhirl has, like, blue swirls on it. It's like a blue Pokemon, so it works out. It works out. Wow, look at all the Dooku's. Venusaur, oh my gosh. I wish we got this type of spawn before that we got here, because I would have gone for that Venusaur. And nice, we get a Firestone, but I don't really think the Firestone's going to do anything for us. We'll battle this trainer here, though. I can catch a lot of Pokemon around here, so buzz off. Hey, hey. That's really mean. I'm not buzzing off anywhere. I'm gonna catch as many Pokemon as I want, Tamer Kyla, with your Articuno, your legendary bird. Well, guess what? I have the perfect Pokemon for that. So let's send out Dooku. I don't think Dooku's at too low health right now, right? 67? Yeah, that should be fine. I don't think Articuno could do too much to us. So we'll go for that Fire Spin. I'm glad it didn't miss. The one thing I don't like about, like, Dick. Can we take a dig from Articuno? Do we want to take a dig from Articuno? What would I rather send in here? Uh, I mean, Phasma would make it completely miss, but is that really worth it? Phasma's not going to kill it. I don't want to take a super effective hit. So, I will switch into... Yeah, I'll switch into Anakin. If they're using a Legendary, I'm going to use a Legendary right back against them. Right back against them. Plus, I think we'll outspeed it. I don't want to, you know, have it go for Dig again. And Thunderbolt should take it right out here. So let's go for a Thunderbolt. This should be a nice, clean, and easy Articuno. Oh, wait, no, it's still living. Fly! So it has Dig and it has Fly. 
Look at Fire Spin, though. It's coming in clutch. Because we'll still like, do some damage. Or wait, did it not do any damage there? I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, let's just uh, go for... Uh, whatever we're going to do here is going to miss. So we'll go for Side Beam. Fly looks pretty cool in this game. But let's go for Psy Beam. Hit that Articuno for some nice damage and take it out. Sweet. Sweet stuff. I like how to fly and dig though. So like all of its moves will want to be like dodging. Oh, and a Mega Venusaur over here. Mega Venusaur. I think Psy Beam should do, be pretty good on this thing as well too. Nice. Two-hit KO. What's it going to go for? Solar Beam. All right. Luckily, there's no sun right now because I'm imagining a Solar Beam would do a lot of damage, and I don't want to find out exactly how much it would do to Anakin. But what's scaring me right now are the levels. The levels are actually really close to my Pokemon's levels, so uh, it's getting dangerously close. I'll definitely have to do some training. But I think I want to go through this route before I do some training. We'll have some close battles, but it shouldn't be too much. I'll go heal up, though. Ooh, also something I just noticed, Dooku and Yoda are both three levels away from evolving. So hopefully, if everything goes well, we will have a Charizard and a Golduck very soon. And that's just going to be awesome. Dooku is a Pokemon that I just want to see all the way through. If we can keep Dooku alive for the whole run, I will be such a happy boy. <laughs> and I don't know. I, I love Charizard, so... That's that. So let's get this item over here. And there's another dude with a megaphone. X speed. Nice. We could be all speedy. I love getting these X items. Not sure when we're going to use them, but I'm sure they'll come in handy at some point. And you know what? We'll battle you since you were turning and looking at us. All right. Let's play a game. Ooh, it's Team Rocket. What kind of games does Team Rocket want to play? Team Rocket Stan. That's a funny name. Team Rocket Stan. Like, hi, I'm Stan. Team Rocket Stan. Team Rocket has a Snorlax. I guess it's not the shiny Snorlax, you know? The colors in this game, they always kind of like throw me off a little bit and make me think that it's like a different, it's the shiny variation. Wait a second. Why is that thing at level 38? Why is it at level 38? Why is it so much higher level than everything else? That's actually not good. Okay, what do I do here? Uh, this is an awkward spot. It's going for Dig. Level 38 Snorlax, so I think that would definitely wipe out Dooku. Why is there such a big jump? Did the randomizer mess up or something? Okay, at least it's not doing too much, but that's really scary. Now, Snorlax is a bulky Pokemon, so what I want to do is try to confuse it and make it hurt itself. And hopefully that works out well, especially considering how much of a higher level- Yeah, there we go, nice. But it's so much higher level than I am, so that's- that's worrying. I think Brick Break here is gonna be better than Side Beam because, you know, it's super effective. Although I think, uh, Anakin's special attack is a little higher. Let's try them both. Oh, Disable! I guess we have to try them both. Anakin is the MVP. I don't know who else I would switch in right now if it wasn't for Anakin. Because even though uh, Qui-Gon... Yeah, it looked like Brick Baker was doing a little bit more, but we can't use it anyway. Even though Qui-Gon has really good defense, taking a super effective dig wouldn't be too fun. And what I'm going to do here, since I won't be able to hit it, is I'll just go for a super potion. You know, it's seven levels higher than I am, which is really scary. Maybe I have to do more training. But that's weird, though, because the other trainer over there had, like, Pokemon at level 31. And this guy, Team Rocket Stan, who's trying to be all mean and everything, has level 38 Pokemon, and I'm assuming a second one's also gonna be level 38, so this Snorlax has already given us enough problems. That's very annoying. Snapped out of his confu- oh my gosh. Why does this thing have to be this way? I wonder what other moves it knows. It's so dumb, and I should not switch into Phasma, but I can- no, we're not gonna do that. I was just thinking, I could switch into Phasma just to see what else it has make it do something else other than dig. But if it's gonna dig, I'm gonna potion. If it's gonna dig, I'm gonna potion. That's how this is going to be. Ooh. Okay, we're no longer disabled, so we're gonna go back and use our Brick Break. Hopefully you don't have any potions. I don't think you would, but... Disable again? Why can't I have Brick Break? 
What's wrong with me using Brick Break? What do you have against Brick Break? Anyway, let's Thunderbolt this thing right out of existence. Get out of here, you level 38 Snorlax. Wow. Look at that. We're taking out Pokemon that are seven levels higher than us. Hopefully whatever they have next isn't as annoying. Lickitung. That's another kind of slightly scary Pokemon. It's not going to be as bulky, and I really wish that we, um, you know, had Brick Break right about now. Hopefully it gets undisabled pretty soon. Ooh, Skullbash. That's very scary. That's extremely scary. Can we take one on Anakin? You know, I don't want to find out. Let's switch into Qui-Gon. Skull Bash is a scary move, because think about it, that's a very powerful move coming off of a Pokemon that gets the same type attack boost. Yeah, look how much that did to Qui-Gon. I would not want to know how much that would do to Anakin, so we're gonna go for the Drill Run. Do we outspeed it? Oh, Fire Punch. Okay, we resist that too, not bad. That does nothing, sweet. As long as we don't get burned, we should do pretty well here. And Drill Run, I think, has that little bit of a higher crit chance, so maybe we could get a crit. That would be really nice. Let's see what happens first. Are we gonna get... Burned, or are they gonna crit us? Uh, it looks like they win. A crit would be really nice right now, though. Nope. Alright, do I have Burn Heal? This is three of my items if I do. Yeah, I do have one Burn Heal. I'm glad that I stock up. I try to make sure that I have, like, at least one of all the status healing things, because you never know when you're gonna need one. Yo, Binds might get annoying. That might actually get pretty annoying. Alright, yeah, that, that residual damage is going to be bad. I'm really hoping for a Drill Run crit. It's going for Skull Bash again. So I'm definitely going to heal up on this turn. Give me a crit, come on. Crit, 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 crit! No. Yeah, because if you think about it, first off, I can't swap, right? I can't swap out. I don't want to swap, but I don't think I can swap. So, I'll go for another Super Potion. That's item number four. Four items against this random Team Rocket Grunt. That's insane. You know, they're trying to stop me from getting to the Celadon Game Corner. They're trying to make sure I can't get there and rescue that poor little Kubone. Kubone. Why do I always say that? Bind again. Oh, this thing's so annoying. Come on, almost there. Almost there. One more turn, Qui-Gon, buddy. One more turn. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to swap because this thing has 95 accuracy. I'm just going to go for Stomp because per perfect accuracy. I just want this thing to get finished. Did that do one damage? I wasn't even looking at that, but I think it did like one damage. It did nothing. Sweet. Wow, that was scary. That was really scary. So... Drat, come up short. Ooh, a lot of money, though. That's pretty nice. I want to look that up, though. Are his Pokemon supposed to be that high level? Okay, so yeah, apparently on this route, there are a few trainers like this guy that have just way higher level Pokemon normally than everybody else in this area. So that's really weird. And because of the randomizer and everything, boosting levels even more and giving everybody a second Pokemon that does not normally have two... We ran into this guy, Team Rocket Grunt Stan, that had a level 38 Pokemon. Thanks, Stan. Team Rocket Stan. What's this item over here? Big Mushroom. Ooh, I guess we can't get that Big Mushroom without this guy wanting to battle us. So we've got to go into another- Oh, I really should have healed. I didn't think we were going to get into another battle here. Ouch. This might be scary because we're coming in already weakened from Stan. Now we gotta fight the scientist Glenn and Vaporeon. I'm still leading off with Dooku. Not gonna be good. We are definitely not playing around with Dooku here. Okay. Oh wait. Dooku's at full health. Okay. But anyway, this is not good. I guess I'll send in Anakin. Anakin is like the MVP of this episode. Anakin's the only one that can really handle stuff. Now once we get Charizard, and once we get Golduck, I'm sure those guys are going to be a little bit more useful and helpful. Wow, Skull did so much there. We're actually in like KO range right now, if they get the burn next turn. Okay, I guess I'm using my last, uh, super. Let's just hope we don't get burns. Because that's pretty much KO range. I don't want to lose Anakin. No way! Exploding Vaporeon! 
<laughs> what? Okay, that's actually a lot better than Scalds. That is a lot better than Scalds. Scald was scaring me, explosion's not bad. <laughs> so first we saw the exploding Doduo, and now we're seeing the exploding Vaporeon. That's amazing. Oh, Hypno. I don't like Hypno, and I'm sure you know why I don't like Hypno. So let's electrocute that Hypno. Hopefully he doesn't have Shadow Ball. Shadow Ball is the only thing that would really scare me right now. Barrier. Alright, so it's going to raise its defense. Does not matter for me right now, because we're trying to shock it with our special attack. Come on, Anakin. Let's see what you can do, buddy. That's two. Alright, Screech. Just keep going for those useless moves. That's all I could ask for. Go for Barrier, go for Screech. I'm not sure if this is going to KO or not. It might just survive like a sliver of health. Yeah. Okay. Alright, that's not bad. I wonder what else it knew. It clearly, whatever it knew, it did not want to go for, so that's fine. But this could have been worse. And I'm actually very surprised on how bulky the uh, Hypno special defense is. Alright, that's it for battles. You guys wanted battles? I gave you some battles, okay? We fought a guy with a level 38 Snorlax, we fought some Articunos, now it's time to go through this tunnel, and I think on the other side we get another new encounter. Okay, so we made it through the tunnel, now we are on, what route is this? I think Route 7, and ooh! Ooh, baby! It looks like we get a Snorlax! What is that thing back there? Snorlax was the first thing I saw, that is our encounter, I am taking it! Let's go! Let's go, Snorlax! But he's got to hop. I should have waited. Alright, let's let him go for another attack. Okay, he's gonna go for his little jump. And let's get that Ultra Ball. Excellent throw. Oh, that is awesome if we get a Snorlax. But, ooh, it's gonna be annoying. Uh, go. Another excellent throw. Really wish I had some Raspberries. I'm sure Snorlax is not gonna be an easy Pokemon to catch. Come on! Fingers crossed, don't do any running animations. Go, go, go. Oh, wow, that went to the moon. You know, at this point, I don't care about the excellent throws anymore. I'm afraid of it running. I don't want to lose this. No, 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 no. Okay, we look good for now. Another excellent throw. Let's just get him. Let's just get him. Snorlax would be awesome. Oh, my gosh. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. We could do it. We could do it. One, two, three. Yes! Yes! We got a Snorlax. That is awesome. That is so awesome. Snorlax. All right, and we are welcoming Jabba to the team. Welcome, Jabba, after Jabba the Hutt. I think that's a great name, and no, I'm not calling Snorlax fat. I'm just saying he's a big boy, okay? Big boy. Lots of cool other Pokemon over here. Ninetales, Parasect, Magmar, Mr. Mime, Nidoran. Wow, we really had a lot of choices over here. And another coach trainer. Should I take him on now? You know what? Let's just run into Celadon City real quick. We'll heal up, and then we'll battle the coach trainer. Okay, so let's go. I switched over to Qui-Gon as my lead, and wow, another Team Rocket. Wow, this is just like foreshadowing, because we're about to take on their base. We're running into Team Rocket grunts left and right. Oh, no. <laughs> Why am I so bad at just switching in Pokemon? So fighting is good against Rock, and water is like double good against me. Ugh, the only Pokemon we can send in here really is Anakin. Yeah, Anakin's the only one that's really good in this situation. So once again, we are relying on Anakin to save the day. Let's hope Anakin can do it. Come on. Nasty plot. Oh, wow, that's really scary. That's really scary. If he has Hydro Pump like the other Poly, uh, world did, then that will be a problem. What would do more at this situation? I think Psybeam would do a little bit more because of Stab. They're both super effective anyway. So we'll go for Psybeam. And it's not gonna one-shot. Seismic Toss. Okay, that's not bad. Went through all that setting up with Nasty Plot just to go for Seismic Toss, toss and hit me for 31 damage. I'll take it. I'll take it. Nice job, Anakin. Once again, saving the day. I don't know what I would do without Anakin, honestly. Anakin's so good. Right. 
And a Nidoran female. You know what? We could probably knock this out with any- Oh wow, level 33? I was gonna say we should try and bring out Jabba, but if it's level 33, let's just let the big boys handle it for now. Nice. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is train up my guys a little bit, just a little bit, and then we'll explore Celadon City. Ooh, wait, we get TM12 Facade. Not bad. Not bad at all. I think I'll teach that to uh, Jabba, because, you know, Headbutt's not really gonna do great on him, but Headbutt, I mean, uh, Facade might. Okay, so we did a little training, and I stopped a little short because two of my Pokemon are very close to something very special, and I'd rather that happen on screen than during a random off-screen training session. But let's talk to Brock over here. Hey, I didn't expect to run into you here. Well, I didn't expect to see you here either. I'm on my way back from visiting the Celadon City Gym. Keeping in touch with other gym leaders is part of our duties, after all. Oh, isn't that so nice of you, Brock? The girls at that gym all turned me away for some reason, though. Huh. Actually, have some pewter crunchies. I brought them as a gift to the gym here. Well, thank you for the pewter crunchies. If I remember correctly, those are like status healing items, I think. And we also get a cup of tea. Nice. I know a few guards that really like tea to the point where they won't let me get through a gate. So I appreciate that. I really do. Thank you, Brock. All right, Brock. Nice seeing ya. Now let's go on our little shopping trip. <laughs> I love riding on Qui-Gon. It looks so funny. Let's go inside here. Okay, so this is the TM shop, and U-Turn looks pretty good, I would like U-Turn, and Shadow Ball looks awesome, that would be great on uh, Anakin. U-Turn, oh wait, U-Turn would be really good on Maz, but Maz is dead now. But I don't really think I can afford these TMs anyway at this point, so I guess I'll just have to pass on them. Maybe they'll sell like Hyper Potions here though, that would be nice. Nope, still Super Potions. So that was kind of uneventful. I was hoping for a little bit more out of the Celadon market and everything, but I guess that's it. Over here is another route, but there's a Snorlax block in the way, and I see a Goldeen in the corner, but I'm not... Can I get through there? I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think so. But I'm not really going to look over there yet, because that'll be an encounter that we get at some point, all those Pokemon over there, once we can finally get through with that Snorlax. So instead, we're going to head over to the Rockets Game Corner, because we've got to go rescue that Kubone. Kubone. I keep saying that. Ooh, there's Jesse and James again. What are they doing? There, come on, almost got it. Ah, oh, so close. Come on, Jesse, why don't we head to the hideout now? Oh, come on, we've already handed over the Cubone to another Team Rocket member. What's the harm in taking a little break? How are we supposed to open the hidden entrance to the hideout anyway? We just need to check with the poster with the vehicle on it, remember? It's a poster with a vehicle that's the best way to represent us. Well, thank you for dropping those hints. If this guy over here wasn't obvious enough, I'm sure that would definitely help people find out where the poster is. But, hmm, another Team Rocket grunt. Let's battle you over here. Let's talk to you. Move out of the way. I want to get to that poster. I'm guarding this poster. Go away or else. Well, you didn't really give me a chance to go away. You just said go away or else and you challenged me into a battle. So I guess, I guess we're doing this now. Sending out Weepin' Bell. Okay, who do I have in the front again? Qui-Gon. Yes, that's not going to work out either, but let's swap into somebody that will work out. So let's send out Dooku. His final battle, hopefully, as a Charmeleon. Assuming we survive. Assuming this thing doesn't have Surf. Okay, Vine Whip. <laughs> that animation looks funny. I like that. Let's go for Fire Spin. Come on, Fire Spin it up. I was really hoping the market would have, like, a Flamethrower or something. Fire Punch, but guess not. I'll have to look into where we can get those from, because it would be really useful around this time to have a good fire move, other than, you know, fire spin on Dooku. Anyway, let's use our Dragon Rage. And Weeping Bell is down. One more Pokemon to go. Sweet. Oh, this is such a rewarding moment. This was the first Pokemon that we got in this run. And now we get to see Dooku's final form. Alright, yeah, we've had enough. We're gonna swap out... Let's let Qui-Gon have some fun over here. This is so nostalgic. Dooku and Qui-Gon fighting together side by side again. Yeah, come on out. Ooh, Swords Dance. But I don't really think there's anything too crazy that this guy can do to us. Unless he has like a fighting move or something. I don't even think a Surf would hurt too much from a Fira. Oh, of course it has a fighting move! Wait, okay, we're living. We're living. Oh, wait, I hit Drill Run? I thought I hit Rock Slide! 
That's terrible. Oh my gosh, I thought I hit Rock Slide. Okay, so we know he has High Jump Kick. Probably going for High Jump Kick. Can't send out Java, we can't send out Ja- uh, Maul. That's a big mess up on my part. That's a big mess up on my part. I was supposed to go for Rock Slide, but I guess I was just autopiloting. I haven't used Rock Slide in a while. Okay, let's try this again. Let's go for Thunderbolt. So Thunderbolt can take it out. Nice. Okay, that could have went really bad. I would have been so upset if we lost Qui-Gon because I hit the wrong button. Right, and we defeated the last grunt. Blast! Blast indeed. And look at this. Dooku is evolving. Oh, Dooku, you've come so far. I'm so proud of you, buddy. You've seen so many team members come and go. And now... Charizard! Congratulations! Your Dooku evolved into Charizard! Oh, that's awesome! We get that Dex entry, let's check it out! When this Pokémon expels a blast of super hot fire, the red flame at the tip of its tail burns more intensely. Well, it's gonna be burning, it's gonna be blazing the way through the run! And sweet, we get Wing Attack! Finally a decent stab move! Okay, so we will get rid of... Wow, its attack is terrible. I had no idea the physical attack was that bad on this thing. But I guess we'll get rid of Headbutt. We'll get Wing Attack instead of Headbutt. That's nice. So we finally have something decent against, like, Grass types. Good, I like this. Oh, I'm so proud of you, buddy. So proud of you, buddy. At this rate, the location of the Team Rocket hideout is going to be discovered. I better tell the boss. Alright, let's press the button behind this poster. Ooh, an earthquake. An earthquake in the game center. Did anybody else notice that? Games are great for improving your reflexes. I guess not. I guess they don't care. Did you notice it? We ran out of game coins. Also, please don't touch the walls in the game corner without permission. Ooh, are you Team Rocket as well? Team Rocket super nerd. Jesse and James, you saying anything about it? Oh no, they're just talking about the poster again. Well, I guess next time, we are gonna go explore Team Rocket's hidden little hideout. Nevi's wagging his tail, let's get this item. Raspberry! Yay, we got a raspberry. But next time, we are going to explore the Rocket's hideout. The secret hideouts. But I guess the best way to end this episode is with Dooku. Look at him. Finally a Charizard. That's great. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. It was sad losing Maz, but seeing Dooku finally evolve into Charizard made it all a little bit more worth it. Hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Take care.